Being a hero sucks. It really sucks. We're talking about sci-fi's Reginald the Vampire, and I have the star and executive producer, Jacob Batalon. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm really great. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining us. Okay, the first season, we saw how all this got started. Mm -hmm. Let's give us a little taste. Of, well, let's talk about the first season and then give us a little taste. Yeah. The second okay. Season. Yeah, so the first season we see Reginald accidentally becoming a vampire and having to find himself be accepted into the community. And he somehow was able to trick the Deacon of the Americas and, and we sort of won in the end. Uh, but we are immediately met by angels in the second season and now Reginald has to figure that out and hopefully they uh, come out victorious. <laughs> he sounds like a typical teenager, doesn't he? Yeah, it definitely sounds like a young coming of age show. I, I don't know. It sounds very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> very interesting. How did you come up with this idea? Oh, uh, it's definitely definitely was not my idea. Um, I, it was something that was presented to me, and I'd love to give credit to uh, Harley Payton and Jeremiah Chechik and and Lindsay and Todd, um, and really Johnny B. Truant who who made the books uh, that the show was based on. Um, I just was very lucky to have been able to collaborate with them and sort of bring to life a new version of Reginald. And um, now I get to be people's boss. <laughs> ah, that's interesting. I, I, I want to bring this up because every time I look at you, I always think of a young rock. Has anybody <laughs> ever said that to you? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I may have heard it a few times. Very flattering. Um, very, I feel like very unwarranted, but I, I appreciate it for sure. <laughs> okay. Any chance of the rock... Making a special appearance in this series? Uh, I mean, honestly, I would love for him to make an appearance. I mean, I haven't had the great, like, the good fortune to meet him yet, but I, I will try to make it happen for sure. And if he's interested, I that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's going to happen with Reginald's love life? Just give us a little piece of that. Yeah. Oh man, you know, with his love life, it's very much all up in the air right now, um, and he's just trying to figure out how to deal with that while also trying to save the day. So definitely a typical hero story. <laughs> Speaking of heroes, you are definitely a hero because here you are, you're young, you're an executive producer of your own TV show. You've got to say that there's a comparison between you and the startup and innovative community. <laughs> I, I, I would love to uh, sort of be a part of that for sure. Um, this is very much just like my first foray into what it's like. And, and I I don't know if I'm ready fully yet to take on all the responsibility of, of producing a, of something, but it's it's great to learn what it's like for sure. Okay, I got one last question for you. It's gonna be very interesting, all right? Sure. <laughs> In a battle. Sure. Who would win? <laughs> Reginald the vampire yeah. or Spider-Man? Oh, man, or Spider-Man. That is tough. You know, you know, vampires technically can't die. Spider-Man can definitely die. But um, I, I don't want to brag. I mean, I could probably figure out a way to beat him. You know, I, I like realistically, look, he has the super brain. So I think that can maybe match Peter's super smarts, you know? <laughs> speaking of super smart, you're very super smart. I'm oh. speaking with Jacob Batalon, series <laughs> star and executive producer for Sci-Fi's Reginald the Vampire. I've seen it. You've got to see it. I can't wait for the second season. I want to see what's happening with the angels. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jacob, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. Thank you.